All right, so Sean, it may be cold in this studio. I think my nose is turning red, <laughs> but it is hot outside, and that's where I'm trying to be. Yeah, well, take a look outside. This is a view from Otai Mountain looking towards the west. What a gorgeous sunset it was out there this evening, so I thought I'd let you folks at home uh, in the East County where the sun set about 20 minutes ago. Uh, take a look at what it looked like along the coastline, and because of elevation, we're still seeing the glow of the sun come around the curvature of the earth, so it definitely a, a beautiful evening out there. Current temperatures really starting to feel very pleasant in the East County. We're cooling off to, I, I would say, the 90s, the upper 80s and low 90s, a little uncomfortable. So when we dip back down to a 68 in Ramona, which, by the way, broke their record, uh, it was a 92 out there today. 90 is the was the record. 92 is the new record. So a quick drop off of temperatures there out along the coastline, upper 60s to low 70s. In the mountains, we're into the mid to low 60s in Borrego still toasty at 81 degrees. So compared to yesterday at this time, you can see there's a slight fluctuation, a little bit cooler in some of these inland microclimate locations. Part of the reason for that is the atmosphere is so dry. Yesterday there was a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, it's so dry that things are cooling off quicker. And with that dry atmosphere, uh, our producer, Tyler, was saying, God, Sean, how clear is it out there? Well, Tyler, take a look. We are basically unlimited visibility right now, 10 miles at all reporting stations from the coast, which is usually rare to the inland areas. So definitely great visibility out there right now. And as we look at our current conditions, as far as what we're going to be expecting over the next day or two here, we're talking about high pressure starting to weaken. And as it does, we'll see the onshore flow return and that'll bring clouds into the inland areas. Then the broad area of low pressure settles in over the west for the work week. Downtown San Diego, currently we are at 72 degrees. Winds very light out of the north northwest at 6. And the uh, barometer, well, it's kind of fluctuating back and forth just a little bit, but at about 30.04. Temperatures across the southwest, it's toasty in places like Phoenix and Palm Springs, 82 and 85. But Las Vegas has cooled off nicely at 73 degrees, 46 up in the Tahoe area, Truckee, 63 in the Bay Area and the Civic Center in Los Angeles. They are at 70 degrees right now. High pressure is still the dominant feature over the West, but it will start to change rapidly over the next 24 hours. And by the time we get into the midweek, the long wave trough sets up over the West. The high pressure evaporates and you can see this area of low pressure. We go totally zonal with the flow and that brings that much cooler air in over the West. And that's why our forecast looks much, much cooler by the time we get to Wednesday. So tomorrow's still pretty toasty, especially for the month of November. Heading into Thanksgiving here, we're looking at things starting to cool down. Wednesday, Thursday, we start to see temperatures hover in the mid 60s. Inland, you'll be in the low 70s and a lot more of that onshore flow. A chance of uh, some late night, early morning clouds all the way into the inland microclimates and even enough cloud cover that it will affect the folks in the mountains. But your daytime temperatures getting back down to about where they should be over the mountains.